So today guys we are going to make a uh, an handle Naka 4 digit 4412 wing in Kata V5 which is a uh, uh, this wing is a swept uh, backward wing okay so let's get started so to make the wing we need to download the first these two excel sheets in which there are the Naka 4 digit series points are there okay so first of all opening these two files so as we can see here file number one which is this one so we just made the uh, 4412 Naka series airfoil okay so here we are having the coordinates x and y coordinates okay so then just copying this th this th this two columns control c or copy okay and pasting it in the next excel sheet okay right click paste special by the values okay 25 till 25 we have done next from starting from the the second line because we already have taken the zero zero coordinates okay so selecting this two rows right uh, two columns right now copying it pasting it in the uh, another uh, excel sheet 26 okay as we see we have got a 49 till 49 and we have that coordinate as zero so i have opened the catia like this okay so for now i'm just uh, exporting it so right here and i drill wing swept back naka 4412 okay so it's done okay you can see the coordinates are displayed over here in the last there are two points here so i'm i prefer to delete the one from here okay like this i click on it and select the delete button on your keyboard that's it other than that we are good to go right now so i'm going for start mechanical design and surface wireframe wireframe and surface design so after entering in in this module we are going for a command called flying to make the aerofoil shape okay setting this one second so step by step with the very precision you can select the points Or you can just click on this points also here. Five, four, three, two, and one. After that, I'm zooming it, selecting this three, like this. You cannot do like the selection process over up because you will get a like error. Okay, so I'm I prefer you to do like that as you can see in my video right now and for the further just select this last point and done okay now it's only one mm okay in full length core length sorry so i need to make it a uh, bigger so for that i'm using a scaling command okay so i'm just selecting a vertical yz plane okay and selecting the airfoil sorry again selecting the airfoil first then selecting the vertical plane or yz plane ratio should be thousand okay now select this thing again go for scaling now this time select the horizontal surface which is zx plane and this time also thousand okay and hide these things same for here also hide all points if you want if you if you want find this commands over here you, you can always go in the insert command and you can see the all the commands are, are over here so no, no no need to worry about that thing okay i'm just seeing my airfoil like this okay so 
the idea is to make it anhydral as well as swept back wing swept, swept back wing so for that i'm going for the command called translate okay for the, first of all um we need to make, make a plane so for that i'm going for a plane which is let, let's go here insert yes here it is wireframe plane selecting this plane and we need a length of let's let's, let's take it as 200 and sorry 2500 okay so software wing has a lower let's say the cord length at the tip okay so this is our root uh, root cord and this is and here it, it come as a our tip cord so now for that um again going for scaling here selecting this airfoil selecting the vertical yz plane and this time i'm going for 0 0.45 ratio okay again selecting this one and going for the horizontal surface 0.45 preview okay and hide this thing right right click on it and hide after this just select this one go for translate okay in the direction this one As you can see it is moving in that direction in x direction so i'm just going for 2000 mm that would be better okay as you see it is over here i'm just hiding this one and uh, again selecting this one going for translate selecting this surface sorry this uh, plane this xy plane means in the forward direction okay and the length is 2500 okay as we see it is came over here so what i'm doing is right now just ro rotating it to an angle to make it anhedral going for command call rotate selecting this one element and the axis should be I suppose it is x axis okay now getting like that so i'm settling for 7 degree okay preview and okay so hide the remaining elements So after this, just uh, hide this also. I'm going for a multi-section surface. Okay. Selecting this one and this one. Preview. Okay. So we got a, a angled wing like this. As you see in the figure. Okay. Um just selecting this one and now going for the symmetry command. Selecting the middle this XY plane so it will come over like this. Review and okay. Look great. Um just uh need to okay so for now we need to fill these spaces which is the thing uh, which is this arrow file shape so i'm going for a command called fill selecting then this preview okay same for this also preview okay so this is a basic overview of the uh, things if you want to make a stringers and spar into this so what we need to do is 
uh, first of all you need to watch that videos of mine which is having all the things made in, in a separate module okay like uh, there are a number of videos okay i'll give the give the key over up, up here so you need to see that videos first okay so you'll get an idea how to make a strangers and spar into this okay so for now i'm just going for tools hide all the sketches so guys i hope you like this video it gives a big thumbs up to it and subscribe to the channel as the least you can do to support me and help me out and other than that you can find the more exciting videos in coming months like of the like different kind of wings are over there like i'm trying to prepare that thing in kitia v5 as, as well as there are number of new let's say designs are there so yes stay tuned for that for that update guys and make sure you hit the bell icon to get the update this uh, this is a main thing that you can you must do okay and other than that see you and goodbye